419 if you're a fan of the movie Vanishing Point you may remember that Kowalski takes exit 119 the no name exit pretty cool Glenwood Canyon I-70 alright the road to go to uh, Moab was back that way we're heading into Cisco and this is another vanishing point reference uh, yeah you can see they don't uh, it doesn't look like the, this road is maintained very much <laughs> yeah we're heading into Cisco for another vanishing point beginning in the end of the movie here we go this is the place now I've been here before Somebody had, had written Vanishing Point and Kowalski, Kowalski, easy for me to say, Kowalski lives on it. But this is the store or the station or whatever it is that uh, Kowalski lives. There you go. That's the road he came down. And they set up the bulldozers, I think right here. Something like that. And he comes right into the bulldozers, but check it out. That's the place. Kowalski lives. Not a lot around here. There used to be uh oh, there it is. He can still barely read it. Vanishing point. Not allowed out here and listen to how quiet it is. Here, hang on, let me, let me stop walking. Super quiet, it's amazing. Got the railroad tracks right there. You know, most of the major highway follows, most of the major highways follow railroad tracks. And look at this, that's Cisco, Cisco, Utah. There's, there you go. Vanishing point. Check it out. All right, Cisco, Utah. Vanishing point. We are back on the road. I always love watching this. Look at that sweep. Dakota Digital, baby. And we're on the road. All right, we are 10 miles west. A Flagstaff and we got a couple vanishing point locations last week I think it was a week ago today this however easy rider baby remember when Billy and Wyatt at the beginning of the movie they come to the hotel and the hotel has a vacancy sign and then they see their two guys on motorcycles and they turn the, the no vacancy sign on this is that hotel was that hotel is that hotel However you ever want to put it. Eastbound, westbound, this is where they drove up, it was the Pine Breeze Inn. You get the idea, right? There you go, Route 66. 
Easy Rider, Pine Breeze Inn. Now we're on our way to Flagstaff. We'll go to Mary's Place. Then we'll see if we can hit one more Easy Rider before we head out. Place two lane blacktop, baby. All right, I gotta get a picture. There you go, there's the shot. The two pointy things, pointy roofs. Mary's Cafe, we're parked here. Two lane blacktop, baby. Grand Canyon is up that way. Route 66 is back that way about a mile and a half, and so is Flagstaff is back that way. So this side, Mary's place. So my guess is they probably sat in there. This big bar area. Got to view the car there. Well, my guess is that they sat in there. But I don't know, so now I'm going to have to look it up. Anyways, going to get some food here at Mary's Place and uh, enjoy the view. <laughs> All right, I've got a lovely beverage and the lovely Emma. Give me the lowdown. I, I, I don't know anything about the place, but this is where they stopped in Tulane Blacktop. Yes, this is where they stopped. And so the table over there, or table 20, 23. Table 23. That's where it was shot. <laughs> That's where they sat. Yep. All right, I gotta go check that out. So, table 23 <laughs> table over there. 23. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. If you have, you come into uh, to Mary's, be sure to say hi to Emma. Right. Best view in the house. Got a little beverage. <laughs> and I found out from my, uh, the waitress, the bartender, that this, this is the spot. But, That's the booth where they shot the movie. So, yeah, that's the two lane black guy. The booth is set it up. Pretty awesome stuff. Mary's Cafe, check it out. Thank you. Easy Rider. This is where they came. Filled up their choppers with fuel. Still has that iconic, or I don't know, iconic, memorable Timberley. Sacred Mountain. We got Vanishing Point, Two Lane Blacktop, and Easy Rider. All in the 55. Giddy up. Thanks so much for coming along. Do me a favor, like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. My name's Chef Fist, and I drive a 55.